Hi, this is Mike Worth, and this tutorial is about adding an image, a video, and uh, moving the sections and um, elements around within your page. So the first thing we do is we go to our VLE page, and we're going to turn, well, editing's already turned on. I'll just turn it off, then we go back, turn editing on. So we're going to start by adding a label. It's a great way to put an image exactly where you want it. So label, and we're going to go up to this little button up here, which says insert edit image, click on that, and navigate to where are our images. In this case, I've got a picture of a basset hound. I'm going to go choose and upload file. And it will put our picture roughly in the middle of our label, well, on our label. We probably have to adjust where it actually comes on our label, how big it is, but that's what should happen. So there's our picture sitting on there. I'm just going to go insert. Okay, so it's a rather large picture of a basset hound holding a flower. Now if I click on it, we should get some little handles. And we've got them just there. If I put my cursor onto there, we can actually make it smaller. There we are. So it's kind of made it a bit smaller. And if I click to the side of it, put my cursor just to the side of it, and then go centralize, a little button there, it'll centralize it. So there's our picture of our basset with a nice flower in its mouth. Let's go save and return. And on our page, turn editing off, we have now got a very interesting picture of a basset with a flower in its mouth. So that's one way of adding interest. You can obviously add text above and below your images. Um, it looks really nice on a page where you've included it within your e-scheme of work. Very helps him, helps create the page a bit of interest. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a YouTube video. Again, a great way of adding a little bit of interest to your page. You can either simply put the URL in, or you can actually embed it into a new page or into your existing page. We're going to embed it into our existing page. So we're going to go turn editing on. We're going to go down to a section where we haven't already got something. We're going to say topic three, and we're going to add a label. So we click add a label. And there is our label dialog. Now I've already got a picture. I've got um, a video of a basset hound. I'm into basset hounds. So here is our basset hound picture or video, as you can see. And we'll give that a play. It's all about basset hounds. Right. I'll stop that. What we want to do is we want to go and find our embed code. So we're going to click on share and we're going to go to embed. And that code along there in blue is our embed code. If we go show more, scroll down a bit, we can choose the size of the, the, of the video that will be embedded. We can also get rid of a few things that we don't really want. So here it says show suggested videos when video finishes. Well, I don't really want that. What I'd really like is to add this bit of extra um, privacy um, mode sort of set up on it. So I've clicked that as well. So here is our video. I can make it slightly bigger, I think. Now let's go up for a slightly bigger size. That will have changed the size up here. All I now need to do is copy that whole iframe code. So in blue, I'm going to go copy that code. You can check that you've got it right because at the beginning of it and at the end of it, it should say iframe. So it should like that. So iframe there, and at the far end, we've got iframe. So long as we've collected both those two iframe tags, we're on a winner. Right, so we've collected those, we've copied that. Let's just drop this down out of the way. Now, on our dialog box, what we want to do is go to this little section here, which is our head, uh, edit HTML source. So we're going to click on that, and into here, we're going to paste our iframe code. There it is. We've got iframe at the bottom, iframe at the end. That should work. Update, there is our Basset movie. I've just clicked to the side of this now and I'm going to arrange for it to work in a line centrally, like so. And we're going to go save and return. It's going to turn up here, but we do need to refresh the page. So I'm going to just go refresh the page. There it is. We're going to turn editing off as well and turn editing off. And here is our video of a Basset. I know, unfortunately, watch all that, even as much as I like watching assets. So turn that off. Right. 
Now, we've got things arranged on our page, but we might want to move them around a little bit or, or elements within elements. We'd like to move those around just to make it look a bit nicer. So we turn editing on. We now go and we go on to the item we'd like to move and go to where we got the double cross arrow. And it says move resource. So we go onto it like that, click and then drag it where we want it. That will move that particular resource around within any of the sections. If of course we want to move a section, all we do is go onto the section heading, click on it and then drag it up. So we've moved section three, made that now section two, or we could have put it in here if we'd wanted to, or we, of course we can take this section here, we can drag it below well, this this um, element, we should be able to drag it in just a couple of seconds, below the video. There it is. So we now dragged it down below the video. So that pass is now in the bottom. Um, all we need to do now is go turn editing off. And yes, it's made our page look a little bit different. So we've embedded a video, we've embedded a, uh, an image, and we've also moved things around a little bit. Okay, I hope you found that of interest. Thank you very much for watching.